In this video, we're going to learn about functions. And there's two types of methods in Alice. There is procedures, which we have learned about already, and they just do something when they're called. And now there's also functions, which do something and then return a value. So we use functions to look something up, to calculate something, to figure something out, and then return that data to another part of the program. Now I want to create a function that's going to check to see if my black cat here, if it is touching or colliding with any other characters. And I want to make a function that checks all of them. Now I choose my return type. Now this is going to be a true or false, because it's going to return true if the cat is touching other characters, and false if it is not. So in this case we want to return a boolean. If we wanted to return a number, we choose whole number, a decimal, decimal number, or a word or words, we choose text string. True or false return, we want a boolean. And I want to make sure I come up with a good name for it. So I'm going to call it cat touching other characters. It's very clear what the purpose of this function is and what a true means and what a false means. I'm going to hit OK. Now we've got to have some ifs because I'm going to have to check each of these collisions separately. So I'm going to grab an if. And now I gotta check to see if first the cat is colliding with the bunny. So I'm gonna go to the cat. I'm gonna use another function. Is colliding with is the black cat colliding with the bunny. Now if the black cat is colliding with the bunny, we know that there's some sort of collision going on. So we can comfortably say return true. And return true means it's going to send back the message true to whatever called it. We always got to make sure we end every possible branch of a function with a return or the program's going to crash. However, just because the black cat isn't colliding with the bunny doesn't mean that it's necessarily not colliding with anything. So we can't return false yet. We got to check out all the other characters. So next, I'm going to say if true is true. That I'm going to get black cat is colliding with. In this case, I'm going to check if it's colliding with the peacock. And again, if it's colliding with the peacock, we know it's touching another character. So we can comfortably say that is true. Now still, even if it's not, we can't say it's definitely not colliding with other characters because it still could be colliding with the ostrich. So now we're going to do an if. And we're going to say if the black cat is colliding with the ostrich, we will return true, because it's colliding with something. Now, whenever you hit a return statement, it always ends the function right there. So if the black cat is colliding with the bunny, it ends right there. If the black cat is colliding with the peacock, it ends right there. If the black cat is colliding with the ostrich, it ends right there. However, if it isn't colliding with the bunny, the peacock, or the ostrich, there's nothing else on the screen. So we can comfortably say that if all three of these statements are false, we know that it must be a false that is colliding with another character. So at this point, we can say return false. Okay? Now, we can use this function wherever we want. Let's go to my first method. Now I'm going to grab an if, and then I'm going to go to scene, because this is a scene function. I'm going to grab cat touching other characters. Now, if the cat is touching other characters, I want him to say he's going to say ouch. So if this function returns true, I want him to say ouch. If this statement returns false, I want him to say all good. So I'm going to run it. This statement is returning false because he's not touching any of the three other characters. So since this is false, it goes to the else and he says all good. If he was touching any of these other characters, it would return true and he would say ouch. 